Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review. And today I have the Pelican G40 waterproof case. Now I spend a lot of time on the water and at the beach in the summers. I just like being outside and I always bring my cell phone with me. And every time I do, I worry that the phone's gonna get damaged. If I drop it in the water, it's gonna be destroyed. And if we're at the beach and I drop it in the sand, even though it won't destroy the phone, that sand is gonna be haunting me for years, trying to get a connector in there and sand crystals falling out, nothing's fitting right. So I was looking for a way to protect my sensitive electronics and keep everything organized when I'm at the beach. Maybe my phone, my wallet, my keys, just to have a container to put it in that would organize it and protect it from the elements. And that's exactly what the G40 is designed to do. Now, Pelican as a company has been around forever. They make a lot of really high-end cases to protect very expensive photography equipment and other high-tech electronics. So I know they're a leader in the field. And when I found the G40, I thought this is the perfect size to hold my cell phone, my wallet, and my keys, and a few other things. And it's not too big where I'm gonna worry about dragging it along because it's something big and bulky. I also love the fact that it's got a, a loop on the end of it here where I can hang it from a carabiner around a backpack if I'm out in the woods hiking. So it really fit the bill from a size perspective. And just so you understand how long it is, it's seven inches this direction, uh, three and a half inches this direction, and an inch and an eighth this direction. So it gives you just enough room to fit everything, but again, it's not too big and bulky to bring along. It's made from ABS plastic, which is incredibly crush resistant. So anything you put inside here, you can't crush this. I mean, it's built like a tank. And it also has really nice rubber bumpers on the outside. So it gives you some shock protection that if you have a cell phone in here that's really sensitive to shock and you drop it, that rubber is going to pick up a lot of that shock. But beyond that, I was looking for a case that wasn't just water resistant, that was watertight. And a lot of the cases on the market that talk about being waterproof, when you read the fine print, they're really water resistant, which means they'll keep things dry if you hit it with a garden hose. But if you drop those other cases in the water and they get underwater, water's gonna get inside the case. This one is watertight, which means you can submerge this up to a meter and a half for 30 minutes and you're not gonna get any water inside of it, which is exactly what I was looking for because I'm not expecting to drop it in the water a lot, but if I'm out in my kayak and I'm paddling down the river and I hit a sandbar or a rock or something and the kayak flips over, I wanna know that anything inside this case is gonna float for a couple of seconds and I can grab it and pick it up and take it out. It's also bright enough that if it's a clear enough river and this thing sinks to the bottom, I can see it pretty easily and grab it and pull it out and I'm not gonna have to worry about anything inside getting wet. But beyond that, they really thought through how to protect the gear inside of it. So the ABS plastic, number one, is important. They've got a ton of reinforcement inside of it. So even the corners are incredibly stable. You're not going to crush this thing. And if you look at the catch on the front, it's a massive catch. That's the entire side of the actual case. And to open it, you've really got to apply some pressure. Listen, here I'll click that, have that clicked open. And when you open the case, you're going to notice pretty quickly, it's got a double seal rubber grommet on the inside, which is going to keep everything inside completely dry. And they actually thought about what you're going to use it for. And they've built in a shelf right here that's removable. So you can pop the shelf out, which actually gives you two layers inside the case, a bottom layer for your phone or maybe a charging bank or your wallet, your keys down there. And you put this on the top of it, and you can sit your cell phone on the top. Now, what I use it for an awful lot is when I'm out on long trips, I like to keep my phone fully charged. So I've got a small battery bank, a 10,000 milliampere battery bank that I'll put in the bottom of this with a short cable through one of those holes. I'll plug that into my phone, lay the phone in the top shelf right there, close it up. And then when it's inside the case, it's actually charging my phone for me. Now, one other thing that may be something you'd miss is on the end here. You see that little dimple? That's actually a pressure relief valve. And that's important if you're gonna take something on an airplane because if you seal this up at ground level and you put it up in your bag, I don't know why you take it on the plane, but maybe you're protecting something sensitive like your cell phone. The challenge is the pressure is gonna change dramatically up at elevation at 30,000 feet. So if you don't have a way to equalize that pressure, you could crush the case. So having that pressure relief valve right there means if you drop it underwater and it's standard underwater for a long time, 30 minutes or less, uh, all the air inside that's not compressed is, has a way to get outside the case. So that's pretty cool. Again, I'd mentioned this hook on the end here. A lot of the other cases I saw had a little kind of a flimsy hook on the end that I felt like I'd be hiking through the woods. It would get snagged on something and drop off a half a mile behind me. And then I'd reach around for the case and realize that it's back on the trail. With this one, it's molded right into the case. So it's actually part of the construction. It's not gonna pop off. You have two heavy duty hinges right there that are gonna hang on to, uh, hang on to that top lid. Now, as far as ratings go, they put this through the testing. It's an IP67 rating, which is ingress protection, which allows no dust and no water to get in for a certain period of time under certain pressures. And like I'd mentioned, a meter and a half down underwater for 30 minutes, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. So I'm not gonna have to worry about anything inside this case getting damaged if it gets wet. And believe me, when I'm at in that kayak and I'm having a good day and I'm paying attention to everything, everything inside that kayak's wet. The water splashes in from both sides. You got paddles dripping. So anything in that kayak is gonna get soaking wet. 
I can put my phone in here, I can put my keys and my wallet in here and know that it's gonna be safe in the kayak, it's not gonna get wet, and again, heaven forbid I flip the kayak, I can. this is the first thing I grab for, I can grab the case and know that I can get back into my car and drive home. But there's a lot of cases on the market that look like this, but again, it's a Pelican product, which means it's high quality, it's top shelf stuff, and I just love it. I think it works great. I've had it for a couple of weeks and it's a perfect case for me. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I really appreciate you guys watching. I think this is a wonderful product. If you're looking for some type of waterproof case to protect your phone, your keys, your wallet, anything important to you that'll fit in a case of this size, this may be the perfect choice for you. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, stay nerdy.